What's up my makeup slayers? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eve. In this video we are doing a second eye look. It's going to be with the Jeffree Star Pricked Palette. I've had a lot of fun playing with this palette and I can't wait to do a second look for you. So I do have a good opinion on all these shadows and I will let you know there's only one shadow I don't like in there and I will go over that. But before I open up and throw these lovely shades on these eyelids, I wanna send a giant thank you to all the people that took time out of their very busy days to come on my channel, watch my videos, like and subscribe. That means so much to me and I can't tell you what a great feeling that feels like when I see in my notifications that I've have a new subscriber. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And then when you reach out and comment to me, that also means so much. I appreciate you. Thank you generally from my heart. So before I get started on this, one thing about my channel, if you're looking for perfection, that is not on this channel. My brain goes so fast that my mouth cannot keep up and I do slip up quite a bit of amount on this channel. So with that, I'm gonna throw these lovely shades on these beautiful eyelids. All right, so the first one is going to be Sliver of Sanity. Isn't that fitting? All right, so it's going to be right over here, and that's gonna be my all over shade. I do have my eyes nice and primed. I use the Viseart Eye Primer. That's my favorite one. Like I said, I'm just putting it all over. And what I like to do is I like to move from eye to eye and do each step on each eye. I don't complete one eye and then move to the next one and do the, all the steps again. It's just, that's my preference. All right. So these shadows do have fallout but they brush away nice. They have a little bit kickback, so when you hit it in there, some of it does kick up on you. But like I said, they're extremely pigmented and they blend really nice. So I don't mind that if there's kick up as long as it blends and then I can just brush it away. So what I always do is when I add my cream foundation, all my cream products, I always set it down with a setting powder. So then if some shades fall down, I could just brush them away because they will stick to your cream products. All right, now I'm gonna go to Unpeeled Pleasure and that's right over here. And I'm gonna stick that in the crease area. All right, next color I'm gonna blend into to make it a nice little color is going to be Forged, and it's right over here. Take that, put the wrong color. So I'm just concentrating it on the outer V of the eye. So I'm gonna put majority of the color there. And the brushes I'm using are the Scott Barnes brushes. They're my personal favorite.
and with that forage color you're just lightly tapping into it and getting a nice wash of color. These shadows build on top of each other without getting muddy. They're very, very nice. All right, now I'm gonna get my glitter glue. My all-time favorite is the NYX glitter glue. I found a really good deal on this. When you go on Amazon, you can check this out and then they have the subscribe and save. And then if you have a few items, this gets marked down dramatically. It gets so cheap doing it that way. So if you haven't checked out this on Amazon, go give it a look because it's already a really good price and you get an even better price. It's the best I've found in a while because I go through this pretty quickly because I use this every single day. And I'm putting that on both eyelids, the entire eyelid, just not the crease. Wipe that off. All right. Now we're going to go into Unblunted. It's a very pretty bronze color. And I'm just using my finger. All right, so with that, I'm gonna, now that majority of the pigment's on my eyelid, I'm gonna take my brush, dip into it, get a little bit of it, so I can just blend it out. So you wanna go into the other colors and just make sure it's blended. Now I'm going to go back into the NYX. I always try to do two little mounds of the NYX glitter glue so it doesn't combine in the color. So you get a fresh application of the NYX glitter glue. And I'm just putting that in the very, very middle of the eye. So I'm going to be doing a halo eye in the middle. And with that halo eye, I'm gonna go for Glimmer of Hope right over here. Just tap it the middle. So you can see how pigmented that is. These shadows are amazing. Right now, of course, I'm gonna clean this brush before I dip into the new one. Putting the same glimmer of hope, I'm just blending it in. Now I'm going to grab the unblunted, that's the bronze color that I did all over the eyelid. Not really happy with how it's blending into that gold, so just dipping back into that just helps the process. 
if you mess up at any point, it's just makeup. Wipe it off. Try again. All right, like how that looks. Then you just want to clean your brush with no color on it and just blend it out right above. So right above the crease, just to make sure. I'm not gonna put anything on my lower lash line. That's one thing I want you to be careful with his shades. I have extremely sensitive eyes, and if I go on the lower lash line, my ears, my ears, yes, my ears, my eyes start to tear up so bad. There's something he has really intense pigment, and I think maybe that has something to do with it, because every time I put it in my lower lash line, my eyes tear up really bad. I do have sensitive eyes, so that's just a heads up. So if you have really sensitive eyes like me, that may happen. They perform well. I don't get any bad reactions other than that. There is one shadow that I did not like in this. I've tried every single shadow. The only one I did not like is the Deadly Intentions, and that's the black one. It's very pretty going on, but then whenever I looked out throughout the day, it had fallout. It wouldn't stay on my eye, even with the glitter glue. It, little bits of it went off, and it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but with it being such a deep pigmented color, it fell off and it looked weird on my face, especially that it landed right over here. It looked like I had black facial hair gr growing on my face. It was not attractive. So that's the only one that I will probably not use. I don't know if I I tried to blend it in with another shade and then the black still end up falling onto my face and messing up my makeup look out throughout the day. So whenever I did a check in, look in, I'm like, there's more black. Wipe it off. I'm like, all right, I'm good. A couple hours later, look, there's some more black on my face. So that was kind of irritating. So other than that one shade, they're all winners. So you still, with that one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 shadows that are still absolutely amazing. So there was one dud for personally me. It may work for you. You may have a different opinion about it. It just didn't work for me. All right, so I'm gonna put this over here and we're going to throw on some eyeliner. I'm gonna use my favorite one. It's by Makeup by Mario. All right, now I'm gonna do my two-step method with my eyelashes, I do it all the time. The first step is gonna be the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes. If you don't see me putting it on, I'm sorry. I wanna make sure I do this right for you. So I'm trying to do that and then you still see some of my face. What I'm doing is I start at the base of the lashes and I wiggle up. That's the best way to get really, the most impact out of your mascara. Just wiggle it up. And you gotta, it's a requirement. You gotta make the stupid makeup face. The oh. It's funny, every time I try not to do that, I end up finding myself doing that in the mirror. If you don't make up that face, comment down below. Tell me that you can do it without making a stupid face. I'm 
All right. I This is my Holy Grail mascara. I always seem to reach for it because it gives me the prettiest eyelashes. All right, so we're going to go with highlight. So this is the Jeffree Star highlight. This was in the same prick collection. This is the Citrus Bling. This was my first time when you see the video, my first makeup look using this. This is the first time I use this. Every single time I use this on my skin, I get compliments and asking what is on my face. It is absolutely wonderful. And I didn't think I like it because I don't like extremely intense highlighters, but this is gorgeous. Blends in your skin like a dream. And what I do is I go right here, blend up to the V, and then you just do circular motions and blending it in. Because that really blends into your skin and makes it look seamless. All right, as you can see how pretty that looks. You know what, I'm gonna throw that on the inner corner of my eyes. Because can you really have too much highlighter? No. That's why I like highlighters that you can build up, so then I could be the judge of that. So if I want high bling, I can do it. If I want to be conservative, I can do that as well. All right, so we're going to add the second coat. And then the second coat is going to be the Thrive Mascara, and this is the Liquid Extensions. If you're not sure why I do it, I have other videos, but I'll quickly tell you. When you put your favorite mascara and you get where you like it, you let it dry, then you put this on the second uh, step, and it locks in those lashes. I mean, your lashes do not budge, and they do not smear, because I work in the hot, sweaty sun of Florida, so every mascara that said that didn't do that end up doing it on my face. So that's why I found this trick, and it has helped me. As soon as I don't explain it in a video, people ask why I do this. So I just want to make sure that you guys are well informed. That you guys got banging makeup all day. So I want you to get compliments on your makeup as well. All right. If you make a mess up, just wait till it dries. It brushes right off. Easy peasy. All right. I do have two other lipsticks. I do have in the same collection the Supreme Gloss. And let me tell you the color. Entwined. And I do have past lipsticks of his. It is extremely drying. I haven't tried of putting this on and then putting the gloss on as a topper. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is Can't Relate, and I have this one. This one I think is too pink for this look. It's very, very pink, and it's flamboyant. So I'm going to wipe my lips of the lip balm, because anybody that watches me knows I'm very crusty. All right. I'm trying to see. Okay, not really feeling that. I'm going to try to add some of this, see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not liking that. If you can see, for some reason, 
his liquid lipsticks don't flatter these dry lips so I'm gonna pass on that if you don't have dry lips like me you don't have to worry about it what I'm gonna do is my trick if you have crusty lips I swear this works your lips stay amazing all day okay so what you do is you take your favorite lip balm you put it on your lips I really like right now the Patrick Tot has a little bit of color but it's super hydrating so what you do is you put this on Then you take your favorite gloss, colored gloss, and you put it on top. And I'm telling you, throughout the day, you will look at your lips and then they will stay full and juicy. Because for me, I got dry lips, so then a whole bunch of lines pop on. And I swear, I look terrible. If you see how pretty that looks and how juicy my lips look with how dry they will be, this is amazing for lip gloss. I'm going to put this down so you can see. They look healthy. They look juicy. You don't have to use this balm. You can use whatever balm you like. If you don't want to invest in a high-end balm, if you buy the big aquifer and put it in a little tube, you can use that. Don't buy the little mini lip one. That one's no good get the big jug that's for your body put it in a little container and use that and then put this on top of it like i said the first time i use this i'm going to be buying more i'm broker than a joke with all these setup and everything of trying to get everything for my channel i'm broker than a joke that's all i can say but soon as i get some money i'm buying more of these glosses because they are amazing you get color out of them they keep your lips hydrated I'm not a fan of his liquid lipsticks, like I said, but that's just because I got dry ass lips. So that is just from my face. If you don't have my problem and you can rock those lipsticks, they are gorgeous. The color's gorgeous. I'm jealous of you, I have to say. All right. So I forgot one of my tricks I like to do. So I'm going to grab my mirror. And what I like to do is have some dog hair on my hand welcome to having a dog get that out of here that's not pretty all right i think i got it off all right so what i do is i take a q-tip and i run it underneath the lash line that gets any product any mascara off and you get a very youthful pretty look it, this is the simplest trick, but it always looks amazing. So I'm going to let you take a look. I think it's absolutely amazing. Another trick that I like to do, if you curl your lashes and then you see them starting to fall throughout the day, this is the trick I use. Whenever it's dry, I look up and I just press up like this. Hold it there for a second and then it will lift your lashes back up again. So that's one trick that I did and somebody saw me doing that in the bathroom. They're like, what are you doing? And I told them and they said they did it. And they said, like, that's a life-changing trick. I didn't think it was a big deal, but there you go. You have another trick in your arsenal. So with this palette, guys, this is an amazing palette. I always have fun when I play with it. There was only one shadow I didn't like, like I said, but absolutely amazing palette. I hope that you enjoyed this look. I'll let you take one more look at it of my lips, the highlight, and then my eyeshadow. If you want to see the first look, there is the video on my channel on that. If you like this video, please like, subscribe to my channel. I know I'm small. I know when you see my count of how many I have, it is very low. I am aware of that. I am brand new. I just started three months ago. So this is going to grow because I love this. I love you guys and I enjoy doing it. So I'm going to grab my co-star. If you pay attention, every single video, she comes up. So that's a thing to watch to the end. Come here, sugar bear. Oh, you jumped this time. She never jumped in my arms before. She was excited. <laughs> All right. So, Sugar Bear, let's say bye to our friends. Bye, guys.